In this question, a 55-year-old man with hepatic encephalopathy is brought to the physician because of confusion and increased lethargy during the past 24 hours. He has a history of cirrhosis of the liver caused by hepatitis C. He is easily arousable despite the lethargy. His temperature is 37. Physical exam shows scleral icterus, asterixis, protuberant abdomen, and ascites. Test for Test of the stool for occult blood is negative. Administration of which of the following drugs is most likely to improve this patient's mental status? So this patient had hepatitis hep C, which caused cirrhosis. And now he has all kinds of problems. He has scleral icterus. There is asterixis, protuberant abdomen, and ascites. All these are, you know, all these are signs of uh, cirrhosis. And now he's having confusion and lethargy. Now the confusion part is because of hepatic encephalopathy. Hepatic encephalopathy or happens in cirrhosis when there is too much ammonia in the system. Liver is primarily responsible for getting rid of ammonia from our body. So if there's cirrhosis of the liver, then the ammonia is going to be trapped in our body. So now they're asking administration of which of the following drugs is most likely to improve this patient's mental status. We'd have to give a drug which is going to decrease this ammonia level in our body. So from the option choices, lactulose is the only one which will decrease ammonia level in the body. And the way it works is lactulose is an unabsorbable sugar. So let's say this is, the, uh, this is the colon or this is the GI tract. Uh, lactulose cannot be absorbed into the body. So the lactulose is worked on by the bacteria of the colon and this is going to metabolize this lactulose into and it's going to make lactic acid and acetic acid. This makes the colonic uh, pH acidic. So it's going to make an acidic pH. Now the acidic pH is going to favor the formation of NH4 plus from NH3. Now NH3 is absorbable, but NH4 is not absorbable. So it gets trapped in here and then it gets excreted through the stool. So that's how lactulose works. So in this case, uh, the proper, uh, the, the drug of choice is going to be lactulose. Now lactulose can also be used as a laxative. So hepatic encephalopathy is not the only treatment for um, lactulose. It can also be used for constipation because it helps with, uh, it's, it acts as a laxative. Okay, now let's look at the other drugs. For example, bisacodyl. Bisacodyl is, what does it do? This is also a laxative, just like lactulose, and sometimes it's used when there is too much constipation or you want to do a colonoscopy and it is put in one of the preparations to get things out of your colon. Uh, so bisacodyl is a strictly uh, laxative drug. Docusate sodium, it is a stool softener, so it's also used in constipation. When we're talking about octreotide, octreotide Octreotide is a somatostatin analog and it is used in diseases where you need somatostatin to inhibit their growth. For example, uh, gigantism, vipoma, it's used in insulinoma, carcinoid syndrome. So you get the idea, whenever we need um, somatostatin or somatostatin analog is going to do the job and decrease gigantism, de decrease uh, vivuma, de decrease insulinoma and decrease carcinoid syndrome. So that's oct octreotide. Omeprazole, eniprazole is a proton pump inhibitor, so this is not really related to this question. Sucralfate, this binds to, sucralfate binds to ulcer base and it will secrete a little bit of bicarb and establish the ulcer base and make it make it better. So sucrephal stri strictly works on ulcers. Ursolidiol, this is a byproduct of bile acids uh, after bacteria have metabolized the bile. This is one of the byproducts of bile acids.